Next, we have Thomas Avert. Thomas is a senior Woodlawn High School and will be attending LSU next year. Dean, get ready. He's the starting center on the varsity football team. He performs in his high school's great scholars program. He loves health and fitness and plans to study business at LSU. Thomas is the founder of Best Self. Let's hear it up for Thomas. Thank you. A few years ago, I woke up and I didn't like what I saw in the mirror, nor did I like the way I felt. And maybe you guys have been there before. So I took the initiative to make the overall change in my health. And through hard work and dedication, I was able to achieve my best self. And this journey was not easy, not easy at all. It actually came with quite a few barriers, some of which we may all experience. We don't always have the time to make it to the gym due to school or work. We don't always have the money to hire personal trainers and counselors. And on top of that, we just might not have the motivation to get up and get started. And we call these people our corporate couch potatoes. So this brought up a question within myself, how could I help our corporate couch potatoes and others easily become their best selves? And that's how I came up with the idea of the best self app and website. And through an in-depth questionnaire, you will be able to be provided with customized health plans that will help you achieve your best health. And our plans will be nutritional, mental, and physical. Now, like I said in the beginning, our overall goal is to become mobile, so that way you can access us anytime and anywhere. And we plan on removing the barriers to achieving your best self by being easy on your pockets, having customized plans that are completely tailored to you, so what you're getting, nobody else is getting. And also on top of that is that we'll create goals and milestones to keep our users motivated. And our market is huge right now. Our market is expected to grow to $434 billion by the year 2028. And with a market that big, it's anybody's game. And there are plenty of fitness apps already out on the market, but none of which compare to Best Self. The SculptU app, for example, it's very generalized in what they offer. It lacks important info, and it has limited customization, all of which Best Self knocks out of the park. And our return on investment with a subscription revenue of $300 per year, with 1,000 subscribers, we will be able to have a gross revenue of $175,000 while it takes us 125 to get fully developed. And here's how you guys can help me get in shape. I'm asking for $4,500, which will go to website development and advertisements. I'm Thomas Dylan Avert, founder and CEO of Best Self. Will you help me get in shape so I'm able to help others become their best selves? Thank you. Thomas, I uh, really enjoyed reading uh, about you and just tremendous story, and the pictures don't do the story justice, so uh, congratulations. Um, my question really centers around, you, 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 you put up a competitor there, but this is a very competitive space, you know, yes, so, so um, you come with a, with a really great personal story, a lot of passion what you're doing, I think you got some great ideas. So give me a little sense of like how you're going to penetrate the market. How are you going to get out there and, and, and differentiate, differentiate yourself from something that's pretty, pretty intense out there in terms of the amount of competitors buying for this space? Yes, sir. I definitely plan on uh, marketing through social media and yeah. Google. And our differentiation is that we really focus our 50% on mental health because I believe personally those two go hand in hand in what you get in and out of the gym and in and out of where you work in everyday life. So we'll hire professional counselors, professional nutritionists, and personal trainers, all of which will be able to tend to the many. Thank you, Thomas. So Thomas, uh, first, again, congratulations just for, for, for being here. And, and I, I also had a chance to read and look at your story, and I was very touched by it. I'm, I'm also a former football player myself, so I understand the, the ups and downs of gaining weight, getting in shape, gaining it back. That's yes, why sir. I definitely love those brownies. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, brownies are good. 
but but seriously, uh, when when I did my reading, it was three three apps that came to to mind. Uh, of course, one of them is is sponsored by LeBron James uh, Comb, and another one uh, Yoga Go and Verb. And I know those have a lot of content uh, that they put into it. Uh, when you put up one hundred seventy five thousand dollars for uh, your gross profit. One of the things that I've, I've heard from a lot of the other presenters is that I want to make sure that you guys are taking into consideration what is going to cost to have the content created, you know, because for you, if you're talking about being the app that's going to allow people to really have self care, then that's going to require a lot of, uh, you know, mental health uh, professionals uh, as well as your personal trainer. So, Take a lot of that into consideration when you're looking at the actual numbers, so that you have your your gross your gross margins uh, properly uh, calculated, so that you don't you know go into a bad situation. Yes, sir. So, Thomas, what do you study? What do I study? What are you going to study in college? I plan to major in business management and have a double minor in kinesiology and nutrition. So you're all in on this. Oh, you're I'm going to be in. the face I'm on. Very it. passionate. I like the name. Good luck. Thank you. Let's save it up for Thomas.